natural surface long enough. You are pressing, you are pressing, you are pressing. What happens? You're pressing, you're pressing, and then you break through. Amen? Amen. Many of us want to break through, but we're not willing to press. We need a breakthrough in our finances. We need a breakthrough in our health. We need a breakthrough in our self-esteem. I just heard that. I just heard that. Many of us are struggling with ourselves. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I used to be the poster child for low self-esteem. The enemy attacked me as a child. And this is what he does. This is his tactic. I'm just going to reveal some of his tactics to you today. When I was in elementary school, my teachers used to berate me. And, and I was a really sweet, shy girl, but this is why they did it. I was born and raised a Jehovah's Witness. So people just didn't like me, just based on who I was. So these teachers would use me as an object lesson. They would tell me to go up to the board and work on a math problem they knew I didn't know. I would stand up there for a, the whole class period crying. I was crying every day. Do you know what the enemy's plan was with that? Because he knew that I was gonna be a mouthpiece for God. So if he took that away from me early, I wanna walk into my destiny, amen? Amen, he's strategic. The Bible says in the message version, he's an evil genius. He's been doing this for a long time, people. He knows you better than you know yourself, I'm just saying. He knows your weaknesses, he knows your cheeks and your armor. Do you have your armor even on? <laughs> what? Know. And if you have it on, is it tight? Because he's looking, he's roaming about like a lion. He's not a lion, but he's roaming about like perpetrating like a lion, ready to devour you. He is an opportunist. You give him the opportunity and he'll take it. Amen. So what I'm saying is you gotta be close. You gotta be close to God. This is this is something God revealed to me just this morning. He just so poured it out. I'm like, Lord, I can only say you so much. He said, daughter, when you think about military and military tactics, because we are in a war, whether you want to believe it or not, you're in a war, okay? The enemy is regimented. He is coming against you with regimented attacks. He's very systematic. And if you take a break, you're going down. It's just no way around it. You got to stay in your word. You got to stay close to God. Amen? This is your sword. This is your sword. I'm not going to do a teaching on spiritual warfare right now, but this is what God said. And I know your man and woman of God are prayer warriors. Mm -hmm. So you know about spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. He told me this this morning. He said, tactical uh, advances in war are very important. Your position in a war is very important, okay? So if you are in a safe place, you can have a defensive reaction, which means you're defending yourself, but you can also have an offensive reaction, which means you're striking back. Now, that safe place is Jesus, right? So if we're in him, we can be defended because it says that he's our front and our rear guard. Now, how can he be our front and our rear guard if we're not in him? Amen? So if we're in him, he's our front and our rear guard, and then we can strike back at the enemy. We can strike back in offensive. A lot of times we're just in defensive. We're like, oh, Lord, let me pray. The, the, the devil is after me. Oh, he's attacking me. He's attacking. No, we have power and authority. You need to fight back. You have a sword of truth, ladies and gentlemen. The Lord on your side. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you. You have power and authority. Yes, you do. God has given you himself. Yes, he's given yes. you his name. Amen. So we can use all of these things, but they're so much more effective when you're in him. He is your protection. He is your he's your strong tower. Just don't run to him when it's in times of need. Stay there. Stay 